I was hoping to pitch the tent down by that stream which is behind me in a little valley down below. Um, you saw me having a drink down there. But unfortunately there's no real flat areas to pitch a tent which is unfortunate. So um, I got a plan B. I'm going to go up towards Abbey Hill. There's a trig point up on top. Um, look, look to uh, put the tent up there for tonight. We've camped there before. We know it's pretty flat. So hopefully we'll get a sunset tonight and maybe with a bit of luck, fingers crossed, we'll get a, uh, a sunrise in the morning. So we'll head up there. I've got plenty of water on board for George. So there'll be no issues for him having a drink. So let's head up there and see what, uh, see what we can do. You can probably make out up ahead there is the trick point of Aberezu Hill and according to OS maps it's four five one meters above sea level. I'm not quite sure what George is doing, it looks like he's building a nest. <laughs> so me and George have found a pretty good camp spot in the end. Over there you've got the trig point. The town of Belth Wells is further down on the other side of there. 360 views Penavan and Co over there the central beacons go to the left I can see Manitroid all the Black Mountains Hay Bluff and Tumpa over there and then go further left again the Radnor Hills I'm sure over that sort of direction is Great Ross so we've come up on this little tump this little mound and um, we're going to put the tent right in the middle of it, nice spongy soft ground to sleep on and uh, I think George is already uh, pretty comfortable.
George making himself at home already. Getting comfortable. So we're gonna have some food now. Um, just show you what I'm having. Sirloin steak with peppercorn sauce and some sliced mushrooms. But before we do that, give George a bit of sausage roll. What do you want? What do you want? Ah, 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 sit, sit, sit. Here you go. Another piece. Here you go. I'll cook the mushrooms first. Put put those inside the foil. Then put the steak in. Add the peppercorn sauce and put the mushrooms back in. We've got a cracking sunset going on over there. And I set up my my phone on a tripod to film that, so I hope it turns out good. But in the meantime, continue to stir fry these and then put the steak in. Wow, that peppercorn butter smells amazing. I mean, even George is taking an interest. I might give it a bit of steak, a little piece, yeah? So the mushrooms are going back in now, just add the peppercorn sauce and just warm that through. And then it's time to dish it up. Well I gotta say that, that steak is cooked to perfection. Well I did promise George a piece so there you go. One of my favourite camper meals that is. Really tasty. Yeah, that was a really tasty uh, steak, which I cooked there. Um, it's probably one of my favourite camping meals. It's pretty quick and easy to do, and uh, it's pretty filling as well. Yeah, so um, I've been coming to the uh, the Radnor Hills in this area of Mid Wales for about 15 years, as I've got a caravan just down the road, and. Um, I often walk a bit with my dog and at Bradley Hill I'd, I'd never see many people up here like we've been here today and uh, I haven't seen anyone just me and George so yeah I think sometimes um, this part of Wales gets overlooked um, it's a beautiful place loads of hiking routes up here um, loads of wild camping um, possibilities uh, not as popular as say the the central beacons like Penavan, Condy and all those, you know. But it's great, I love love coming here. Um 
can walk for miles up here, you know. It's a beautiful place. If you notice, I've uh, got my mountain equipment sky blue jacket on, and George is rocking the scene. He got his little padded jacket on, little down jacket, and he's fast asleep. So, having a couple of ciders now, and just having a, l a little pan round. Perfect conditions for a wild camp. The sun's going down over there. Hardly any wind. With views for miles. It's an absolutely stunning place. And I can't recommend it enough. I just swapped my um, my baseball cap with my, my uh, beanie hat because my head was getting a little bit cold. It's not too bad, but uh, yeah, my, well, my ears are getting a bit uh, chilly. So yeah, it's, um, <clears throat> it's George's fourth um, wild camp. I think I'll start taking him up a bit more, to be honest, because he does enjoy it. Um, if you're wondering what breed he is, he's a nine-year-old cochlear, which is a, a cross between a Cavalier King Charles and a Cocker Spaniel. And I tell you something now, he's got a brilliant temperament. This dog wouldn't hurt a fly, he's just, he's so lovable, he's, he's brilliant he is. No, we love him to bits. He's a beautiful dog. So, his sleeping arrangements tonight Obviously, he got his little down coat on. But I brought another down jacket, so what I'm going to do, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put him in there and just try and wrap him up as best I can. So he should be nice and warm in there. So I'm just going to keep on looking at this sunset. I'm not sure what it looks like on the camera, but to the naked eye, it looks really really colourful you know so I think um, just have a couple of cans and just keep looking towards that direction at the sun going down I'll just leave you a last little shot of George he's wrapped up in the down jacket and he is fast asleep so that is the end of the night we'll see you in the morning good morning just woken up now uh, set my alarm for 5 a.m. because I thought there'd be a good uh, possibility of a, a sunrise and this is what we've woken up to Sun rising over there above the uh, Radnor Hills. Absolutely stunning. Stunning conditions for a wild camp. Um, no wind whatsoever. Me and George had a good night's sleep. And there he is, George. George! He won't go too far, he'll just circle the tent, I think. There's a trig. So the plan is, I think, for the next half an hour or so, or whatever it is, just uh, keep looking at this uh, sunrise. I'm sure it'll get better. Absolutely stunning.
just finished my coffee and I think now is the time to finish this video. Um, thanks for joining me and George on uh, this little adventure. We've had a cracking night out. It's been pretty perfect really with the weather. Uh, great sunrise, great sunset last night. Um, so if you've uh, made it this far into the video and uh, you've liked it, consider hitting the like button. And if you want to see more content from us in the future, consider hitting the uh, subscribe button. So I think we're going to pack down now and uh, we'll see you on the next adventure. Thanks for watching. Cheers.